Revenues. Revenues represent proceeds from the sale of goods and services produced or offered by a company. You will see revenues represented on the income statement as revenues, sales, net sales, or net revenues. We'll explain what is being netted out of netted revenues shortly. Revenues are referred to colloquially as a company's top line because they appear at the top of the income statement. Now note, other income is not revenue. A company may have other income streams, which are not related to its main operations. Examples include interest income earned from investments and income received from a legal settlement. These are not recorded as revenues, but rather as other income, and are accounted for on the income statement in the line below revenues. Bad debt expense. When companies sell their products, some customers may ultimately not pay. Companies are therefore required to estimate this uncollectible amount, referred to as bad debt expense, at the time of sale. Net revenues include the financial impact of returned goods and uncollectible payment, or bad debt, from customers. Net revenues equal gross revenues minus bad debt expense. The principle of estimates and judgments states that certain measurements cannot be performed completely accurately and so must utilize conservative estimates and judgments. Bad debt expense is one such account that must be estimated. The accrual balance of accounting dictates that revenues must be recorded only when they are earned and measured. According to the revenue recognition principle, a company cannot record revenue until it is earned, that is, until that order is shipped to a customer and collection from that customer who used a credit card is reasonably assured. The matching principle. This states that expenses should be matched to revenues. In other words, the cost of manufacturing a product are matched to the revenue generated from that product during the same period. The accrual basis of accounting. This dictates that revenues must be recorded only when they are earned and measurable. According to the revenue recognition principle, a company cannot record revenue until it is earned. That is, until that order is shipped to a customer and collection from that customer who is, who's used a credit card is reasonably assured. Revenues and expenses are recognized and recorded when an economic exchange occurs, not necessarily when cash is exchanged. This is the core principle of the accrual basis of accounting, which measures a company's performance by recognizing economic events regardless of when cash transactions happen.